What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be cooking up our first beat ever with the new desk and setup. So let's get right into this. All right guys, today we're gonna to be using a sample for our melody. I have a bunch of them I've been stocking up, so I wanna go through and find a cool one. So let's do that. All right, I like that one. Let's go for this. All right, this is the only part that I'm gonna take from it. I don't actually like these horns in there as much, and we're gonna add our own little bass to it as well. So for this beat, we're gonna make everything in arrangement view here so we're not going to use session view i have some people requesting to try it that way so we're going to do it that way so you guys can see what i do to do that but we're still going to be using midi notes and everything obviously all right melody is good to go i'm going to get like a detroit style kind of a bass pluck sound to use with it I'm also going to throw a decapitator on here. All right, I like that, but we're definitely going to make this its own layer. And let's EQ this layer really quick. Let's also throw this decapitator on this channel as well here. We're going to crank this up a little bit more. All right, so that little effect added a lot. So what we ended up doing is EQing a lot of those lows out. We're gonna leave that for the dry channel. We just wanted to add a little more grit on top of it. So, you know, we raised some of the highs up here and we cut off some of the super highs. And then we threw out this decapitator here and we cut out even more of the lows until it sounded perfect. Um, turned the tone down and did our regular thing. We also turned punish on because this one needed a little more of a boost. <laughs> All right, let's get a snare in here. By the way, if you don't know, you can highlight a section and press Command Shift M or Control Shift M, and that makes a MIDI note for you in this highlighted section. Grab a clap now. Yeah, let's get an open hi-hat in here as well. Put a reverb on this really quick. Let's try the small drum room. Okay, so we're gonna group this and make another chain, a dry and wet one. So with the one with our reverb on it, we are definitely going to very quickly EQ this. Just to make sure we're not getting any reverb from the lows here. get our 808 going. I know that this is in C major, so we can pretty much use all of the notes except for any of the sharps. I mean, we'll see if this even sounds good, though.
gonna make this into 16 bars. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this ending right here over to this one. And we'll delete it from here. All right, we're gonna make this 16 bars now since we made our 808 pattern 16 bars. Just copy everything over really quick. So what we're going to do now is we're going to solo the 808 and the bass that we made and we need to chop some lows out of that bass so that it's not kind of arguing over the lower frequencies. What I'm going to do for these is I'm going to only have them come in every 8 bars. Let's put our 808 distortion effect rack from the drum kit. Let's make a hi-hat pattern now. Let's use the crystal hi-hat from the pack. All right, guys, so I got like a basic layout set up here. I did a little bit of mixing and I added in like a transition and obviously my tag to this. So let's take a quick listen to this and you'll be able to see what I'm doing in it. Feel this, run it up. All right, guys, so all I really did at the end there was threw a halftime effect on there to give it that little thing, and then I just modulated the mix. 
But anyways, guys, I hope you liked that one. That was the first beat with the new desk and setup. I think it came out pretty dang good. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Hey. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here because we're uploading daily videos that you're not going to want to miss out on. But besides that, I'll be catching you guys again in the next one. Peace out, gang.